Welcome to Very Mary's Waterways Stage Costume and Prop Making video. Today we will be giving you some simple, creative, and accessible ways to make your unique costumes and props. We'll be showing you how to reuse, upcycle, and transform everyday objects in the world around you and the ones that you can find at Goodwill into amazing pieces for your performance. First off, I'd like to get us started by sharing a short, inspiring story of how I took an object in my space and transformed it. The object for me was a wicker laundry basket and I ended up transforming it into a headdress. So inside the headdress, there's a frame and that is the wicker part. And I used that as the structure that I draped fabric over. I crocheted the fabric from yarn that I found at the Goodwill. And I found this raw wool that I attached to the sides of it for extra embellishment from a local farmer who just gave it to me. So I will now try it on for you. And you can see how amazing. <laughs> I love how you transformed a wicker laundry basket that was broken into a beautiful headdress using materials you found at the Goodwill and from a farm. That is so cool. Now I'm going to show you what I made from pipe cleaners from my art basket. A beautiful, tiny, little caterpillar. And look, he's hungry. <laughs> Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he's getting bigger. <laughs> and soon he's going to become a beautiful butterfly. Now I'm going to look around my space and see if there's something sitting around on my desk, possibly that I could transform into, uh, into something to help me look like a pig because I'm going to be in a farm performance. So... I need a pig costume. And look, I found a paper cup and I found a ball of string, all just sitting on my desk actually right here. Things I use all the time. A pair of scissors and here's a Sharpie and some, and a pink marker that might come in handy for a pig. So what I will do is really quickly here, transform that with my crafty cutting skills and there I have it. I've made myself a little pig snout that I can tie in the back of my head and, <laughs> and transform myself. And I have one more example to show you guys because this summer I needed to do a fairy tale performance and I needed a unicorn horn. So I made this out of fabric and little cotton balls that I stuffed inside of it and a ribbon. And that's it, just those three things. Beautiful mm -hmm. unicorns. Another great resource for constructing your costumes is the community around you. Not only can you ask your art teacher, your parents, your neighbors, maybe you have an aunt or a relative that already has a sewing machine or a hot glue gun, but you can also go to the Goodwill and reuse depots where you can find these kinds of objects, even sometimes the public library will have tools that you can borrow. So just start talking to people about what you need to make and you'll be surprised how easily you can find and get creative so that you can tell your stories and have fun doing your production. So now we would like to give you all an art nerd challenge. Ding, 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 art nerd challenge. This is a great way to get you to start thinking creatively and engaging in the fun process of costume and prop making. So start by looking around on the shelves, in the corners, in the nooks, in the drawers of the space that you're in. Um, start there and see what you can find. Find one object that interests you and try to come up with a way to transform it into a costume piece. So an example might be that you grab a backpack and if you need to be a turtle, you could cover it with some green fabric and wear it as a turtle shell. 
or you could put the backpack on your belly. And let's say you needed to be a pregnant person or somebody with a bigger belly. You could just wear your backpack under your shirt. So have fun and notice how the world around you is full of creative possibilities and potential to help us prepare our productions and better tell our story. We can't wait to see what you come up with. Just make sure to ask the adults in your household before you transform any objects permanently, even if they're your own, just to make sure you have permission. But you know, this is just supposed to be fun. So don't get worried. And if you get stuck, just notice that the answer is gonna come soon. You're gonna be able to find something. And if you start talking to people about it, they'll help you too, to figure out how you can make the props and costumes that you need. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. Have, Have a, a very, very merry theater, theater day. day. <laughs>